Yes, hello, my friend. What do we have here today? Well, if it isn't another perfectly blue one. Oh, it's day four of a juice cleanse, but because this broke yesterday, I didn't get to have a juice yesterday. Time to weigh in. Regardless, DJ, regardless, DJ, we need to weigh in. All right, y'all, 84 hours into the juice fast. Moving right along. That I can deal with. That is perf. Oh, but of course, you know the first step to a successful life is of course to make your bed, the B-I-T-C-H. Hello there. Welcome to day four of the Juice Clanch. Initial observations are that my juicer broke. That's a pandemic. It's 2020. Why wouldn't it happen? Luckily for me, I have a backup juicer so we can make a new one today. That said though, otherwise, feel great, feel fine, feel mentally clear, feel energized, feel like I can do whatever I want to do with myself and it's no issue. No dizziness, no falling downs, no real crazy hunger. Other than when at night, sometimes when you're trying to go to sleep, it's a little bit dicey. You're a little bit like, okay, I hear you buddy, but chill, okay? Once you get to sleep, no big deals, no big worry. So I'm at 217 also, purple shirts are clearly my favorite thing in these videos. This isn't the Adidas one, I wear that one too much. But turns out purple and me are a summer vibe. I don't really know what today holds in store. It is a bluey, it is beautiful. I just don't know really what to do with myself. I'm trying to figure that out. I kind of want to make a couple of little jam skis, maybe have a little beat session with you, and then also talk about stuff. And what I really probably want to talk about is maybe let's talk about fasting since we're fasting, because you've been lied to by the dietary pyramid scheme of the corporate world about having to eat all the time and how you're gonna die if you don't and hypoglycemia and, blah, and eat all our shitty food all the time so you can be fat so we can sell you pills and uh, get releasing too much information already but I mean, let's think about the ancestors, the ancient times, how they used to roam the plains, eat many buffaloes, and then the human body was smart enough to store it so that if you didn't have any food, you'd be fine. Tripod man, we call him Tripod man. We call him Tripod man, Tripod man. We call him Tripod man, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Oh man, I was debating using this cucumber. Is that your man's after too many drinks or what? <laughs> we gotta chuck her into the coldest with some ice in there all right the ginger could get you she gets spicy that's one that one's perfect Let's 
squeezing my titties together. I don't like that. I don't need that. Welcome back to the garden of I have not eaten. Yo, I feel so surrounded by this nature right now. It's mid afternoon, it's smoking hot out. We got a fresh greenie up in a scene. Oh, and it's delicious. Isn't it weird? Just before we get into today's little topico, isn't it weird how as humans, like when you're doing something in your ideal scenario, and then there's like things around you that are like really, like they really rub you the wrong way. They really agitate you. Like for example, I'm trying to shoot this video, but a dude behind me is doing some yard work and he's like clanging something. But like at the same time, me talking is probably some to somebody like in the next house over, if they have their window open, they're probably annoyed by me talking. And then like, I was about to shoot and this my neighbor next door just rolled up in a vehicle and started unloading all their shit it's like everything right at the wrong time all the time or something like it's such a weird thing in life it, all, it seems to always happen and then you just get like this agitated energy because you're trying to do this ideal thing in your life but it's like everybody else has to live their life and then you know you look at it from your frame and you're like you're like but oh but i matter the most here my video is the most but really that guy in his head he's like no no, no i gotta get this shit done man he's like i gotta bring this shit into my yard i gotta get to the next place i gotta go help my mom this guy's like man i have been putting this off for years i gotta hammer this out right now so it's like it's so weird but i there's that headspace of like me like no it's my turn to do the thing that i want to do but everybody else has to do their shit too so it's just very interesting Anyways, way off topic, but today's topic is, since we're doing it, fasting, prolonged fasting, short fasting, fasting of any kind. Now, let me just start off by saying I'm just an average Joe Schmo with the coldest water bottle who happens to have fasted a few good times in his life. He's done it here and there. He's done a little bit of research, minorly extensive, not too crazy. I know the basics, and I also just look at it from like a logical, biological point of view when I really think of it in my frame. Um, outside of that, I am no expert. I only know about this from my own subjective point of view, my own experience with it. And that is that I have done some prolonged fasts. I've done short fasts. I've done one meal a day intermittent fasting. I've done all of it and it's worked wonders for me. All right, so let's hit some talking points on it. First things first, you guys are probably like, okay, he's doing this extreme thing for weight loss, da 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 da. It's the only reason that seems crazy yeah to the inexperienced person it might seem a little crazy to somebody who's done it it's not to somebody who does it regularly it's not so it is amazing for weight loss it it shreds off pounds real quick and it has that benefit for sure but fasting also has a whole other host of benefits and the other reason why i am doing this is you have to think about how much garbage I've put in my body, right? Like I said, over the winter, just a ton of bad food, a ton of alcohol, just cigarettes, things like that. And when you're in a fasted state, it allows your body to truly rejuvenate, to truly heal at a cellular level. And that's called autophagy. So autophagy just means like eating its own cells. So that's what your cells do. Your cells eat themselves and reproduce new ones, basically. That sounds crazy, I know, but it's true. So when you're not inputting any more toxins or garbage or anything at all for your body to have to go prioritize where it spends its energy, it can actually start cellularly rejuvenating itself and start repairing kidneys, tissues, brain, heart, all those things, clearing of the blood, clearing out the plaque, all that shit. That's what fasting does. That's why fasting is so great for your health because you have to understand that we've been told to constantly put shit in our body like and you're you're already carrying extra weight right let's say you have 50 extra pounds first of all you have the burden of that fat already on your body that your organs and everything have to deal with maintain on a daily level okay that's first you're already fat second in your fat are stored toxins as well yes there's nutrients and things too but there's also stored toxins so that load is already on your body right Okay, beyond that, you're shoving in other shit per day. Even if it's healthy, your body still, instead of going and using the fat and getting rid of the toxins and scrubbing everything out and getting yourself clean and cellularly rejuvenating, instead of that, it's prioritizing its energy to go deal with the food. So now you're left with a body who has no time to do anything else 
except for maybe when you're sleeping and if you're dumb you might sleep before bed and then you're really not healing either because then you're still just digesting in bed so don't eat before bed and that's huge with weight loss but that's the thing if your body is clean and clear it can now clean house if you have nothing going in but just water maybe like a juice like this all this is is water with chlorophyll and some sodium basically and you know what lemon whatever is lemon is whatever material compound that is and that's a cleansing thing anyways Le lemon water sodium chlorophyll that's all cleansing anyways it's not going to take away much energy so you have to understand that i was putting garbage in my body for so long i've i have extra weight i want to cleanse of all of this that's the whole other reason of doing fast so i'm not just fasting to be like this extreme psycho crazy person um, who's just trying to lose weight quick but it is effective for losing weight very very quickly now to someone who's been born into a society that has told you the entire time three meals a day at minimum with snacks that indoctrination that you got to be eating, you got to be eating, you got to be eating at all times i understand that going into something like this might be like shocking or seem intense or intimidating or extreme but that's the society we've grown up in just by the way just so you know in the 80s and 90s and shit the food pyramid even the food pyramid now is a fucking joke man the top i'm pretty sure the top of the food pyramid was like bread okay it was like bread cheese and then came like fruit and vegetables like no you don't want bread and dairy but guess what guess who wants bread and dairy in your body the industry that sells you them because we live in a capitalist society that wants you to buy buy consume consume and get fat sell you pills sell you diet programs all this shit it's very simple just stop putting the garbage in move more hydrate and fasting is great for this now i understand don't go too extreme don't just stop eating altogether for you know two weeks a month whatever even though you can if you did it right but i'm saying if you're going to start this yeah it might come as a shock to your system a shock to your body because you've been feeding it all the shit and you're just mentally not prepared you're physically not prepared but you are physically prepared because the human body is a miraculous divine designed machine okay it knows what to do it's not gonna let you down it's not gonna let you die you're gonna be fine you're not gonna go hypoglycemic think of our ancestors and that's where this all logically comes into play how do you think people survived in times of famine how do you think people survived winters you got fat that's what fats for and then when you didn't eat yet you, you were hydrating and you, your body was eating itself with the fat for survival because that's the reason for body fat so that you can survive in times of famine we are designed to survive we are survivors how do you think we got this far your body is not just going to quit on you if you don't feed it for x amount of time think of people who've been lost out at sea or on an island or whatever think of how long they survive for without food and their body just trimming itself down so you know for me i have tons of body fat my, my body can eat it is not that extreme and to be honest there are other great benefits of fasting and one of them is mental clarity too you there's something about it you almost get on this high this like clean high like everything is heightened all your awarenesses are heightened your, your senses are heightened your, your your brain fires quicker like it just it, it i swear to god if you go past a certain level of days there's like almost like not even an enlightenment because i can't say that because that would be like the ultimate transcendence but there is some sort of a you just don't feel heavy you feel super light you feel like not bogged down you, you just feel good you honestly feel good you feel like you're buzzing for sure but yeah i mean that's basically what i know about it it's worked for me before it still works for me now i love it and on top of that i just right back to the whole thing about the intelligence of your body we are designed to be able to do this i don't care what anybody says we totally are and on top of that we live in a capitalist society they want to sell you shit man like we are told to eat and consume and it's just unnecessary we do not have to and that's the one main point i really want to drive across here is stop being afraid because you've been told something by what you think is the governing rules of your mind it's not that's not how it works. Go on YouTube, do your research, look up fasting, look up intermittent, look up extended, 
find out what it's all about. Don't be scared of it. You know what I mean? It's fine. All okay. And actually, my last point to this is the other reason I'm doing it. Two more reasons, and they sort of coexist together. Discipline. It teaches you discipline. It makes you become disciplined. It makes you strong. It makes you have willpower. It gives your mind strength. It makes you say no to the bullshit for X amount of time. That is the best way to get over like sugar cravings, all that carb, bread, the mouthfeel, all the things, all the cravings, all the things that keep you tied to like the bullshit that you're eating. It gets rid of that within a few days. You literally just get past it. You you don't even have to once once you're once it's out of your system. Once your body is like kind of dealt with it and your mind and you've accepted it, it's like it's so easy to not even fall into that shit anymore because it just it's given you that discipline. And I'll say this: one of the reasons why I like to do weight loss this way, and this is to the final point of this video, is to say that I'm not good at being like okay i'll just eat like these healthy meals per day and da, da, da. like i can't do it like that because that still keeps me trapped in the psychological loop of like needing the food and being addicted to the food and like having to have that meal or having to have two meals a day that are you know a salad and a steak or whatever the meal is right but something healthy it'll still promote weight loss but i would rather just get over it all and just kill it all and just get it done and, and and be of the mindset that's like, I can just handle this, get myself to where I need to be, and then re-implement the healthier life style diet when I come back to like full-time normal eating, you know what I mean? So that's the plan here at the end. That's how I wanna move forward at the end here, but that's just for me, that's the way I do it. And you might call me an extremist, probably I am, but it's the only way that works for me. I need, I need it to be all in or nothing so that's why I do it this way and I see no issue with it I am completely fine I have had no issues thus far it's been like over 15 days and out of those 15 days I've eaten like I don't know four of those days maybe so you know I'm a total of 10 or 11 days of just fasting so I'm still showing up I'm healthy I'm losing weight I'm fine, I haven't passed out, I've been working out, everything's fine, because why? Because my body is designed to store fat and eat it when it needs the reserve energy. That's what fat is. Fat is food on your body, it is reserve energy, and you will not die, okay? There's cases of, there's a dude on YouTube, you go look him up, he's this big black dude, he was like 400 pounds, he fasted an entire year. He didn't drink, an, or he didn't eat an entire year, he just drank water all year, and then he lost something like 200 pounds. And he's fine, he's here to tell the tale. He's actually healthier and better than he ever was. So they'd rather you be sick. They'd rather you 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 look like shit and take forever and, and buy their diet stuff and you know what I mean and keep in the program because without us buying crap all the time and shoving our faces, there's no money to be made. Okay, so just don't fear the fasting. And also, I don't want to be too preachy. I love buying food. Like I totally, I I love that shit. And I'm going to do it when I'm back, like totally. But, you know, I'm going to be smarter about it this time around, I guess. We'll see what happens. I could fall victim again. I don't know. I am not a superhuman. I'm just saying that for an average dude who's done this a bunch of times and is doing it now, it's nothing to be afraid of. And if you just do a little research and just implement it slowly, try a day, try 48 hours, try 72, and then, you know, have the water with the electrolytes, with the sodium, with the potassium, have a meal, have a couple meals, get back on it for a couple days just see it just try it. it like you're gonna be fine so anyways i'll wrap that one up here i think i've touched on everything i needed to and until the next one do not eat at all live well and stay true